Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM in your mini PC, like the Intel Nook, and give you some hints and tricks on best practices when you're upgrading your RAM. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrent, we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with all our future videos. We know that many of our audience have got mini PCs, just like this fantastic Intel Nook that we actually showcased on our our YouTube channel. However, we know that many of you want to upgrade your RAM as the stock configuration might not be quite enough for your uses. The Intel Nook kits typically have two 260-pin DDR4 SODIMM sockets pre-installed with either one or two DDR4 SODIMM memory modules. So let's go through the steps on upgrading your RAM on your mini PC. Now before doing anything, make sure to shut down your mini PC and turn off any peripheral devices that connected to your mini PC. Then you want to disconnect the power cord and all of the cables that are connected to your Intel Nook. Then you want to turn it around and we need to remove the computer's bottom chassis cover. There are four screws at the bottom where the four feet are located. The screws are captive meaning that they should stay in as part of the cover so you won't end up losing the screws when removing it. Now that we've unscrewed the screws, we wanna make sure to pop this out carefully. So making sure to pull from each side and then it will reveal what's inside the Intel Nook. Now it's time to locate the RAM modules on your board. Luckily, Intel has made it super easy and it's right here for easy access. So let's go ahead and remove them. Make sure to start with the top module first. There are two metal clips on either side of the modules and you want to gently spread apart the retaining clips at each end of the memory module, which will cause the memory module to pop out at a 45 degree angle. Then holding the module from either side, you want to pull it out at the same direction of the angle that the sodium is at. Now repeat the same step for the bottom module. And then with these modules, you want to place them in an anti-static bag for safekeeping. Now it's time to add your sodium memory modules. Here at Sabrent, we have sizes 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 32 gigabyte memory modules. I'll have links down in the description below of this video so that you can grab the right module for your needs. Today, I'm going to be using our 16 gigabyte modules, giving us a total of 32 gigabytes. Now grab one of the memory modules and make sure that the notch where the sodium memory is, is lined up to the notch that's on the memory module slot. Now you want to insert the memory module at a 45 degree angle and make sure it is firmly inside. And then once you've done so, you want to press down firmly until you hear the two clips clicking around the module itself. Repeat the same step for the top module. So insert a 45 degree angle, clip inside until both retaining clips are either side of the memory module. Now when choosing a RAM, it's always best to match up the RAM sticks, meaning that you should either put two 8 gigabyte sticks or two 16 gigabyte sticks like I've done here, or two 32 gigabyte sticks in your Intel Nook. Lastly, you want to place the bottom cover, making sure that the orientation is correct. You'll see a front label stamped onto the cover, which will need to line up to the front of your Intel Nook. Then just screw the four screws in when you've firmly pushed it down into the bottom of the Intel Nook and you're done. Now you just want to re-plug the power cable as well as all the other cables that you've removed and then turn on all your peripherals of course and then just turn on your PC to make sure that your RAM has been detected by your system. To do this you want to head to the Windows icon and then click the gears setting icon. Then click on system and then in the left menu bar you want to scroll down and click on about. Then just make sure that your RAM total is correct under installed RAM. And you're done. You've increased the RAM on your Intel Nook so easily with the Sabrent memory modules and you can enjoy the performance boost that it gives you. 
But that's it for today. If you found this video interesting, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with more content like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.